Hey guys, it's me again, Jasmine Beauty, and for today's video we are going to be doing another hair video. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair. I know I don't have the curliest hair on the planet, and there are a lot of amazing curly hair videos with girls who have way more curly hair than I do. So if your hair is way more curlier than mine, I definitely suggest that you go to one of those videos. But if your hair is in the 3A, 3B, and below range, this video can definitely be for you. So if you are interested in how I do my curly hair, just keep watching. So just like my blowout video, I'm going to be using the same Olaplex products that I used in that video if you haven't seen that video i recommend you watching it i definitely went into more in depth about the olaplex product line and what i love about it and why i'm also using it in this video so i use shampoo conditioner and i'm just going to go in with the olaplex bond smoother again just taking a decent amount and distributing it all over my hair so just because this is a curly hair routine, that doesn't mean that I still don't need to protect my hair from the heat because I will be using a diffuser on my hair. So with that being said, I'm just going to go in with my Bumble and Bubble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil Primer and Heat Protector Spray. And I'm just going to apply that on my ends primarily. all over make sure you brush the brush those products in so when you're curling your hair you want your hair to be pretty wet because it's really gonna help um, shape and form your curls your your hair your hair is gonna be how it dries so if you make sure that your hair is curly before it dries it's gonna help give it that shape and keep it you know curly and voluminous so the next product that I'm going to be using to help curl my hair is the Maui Moisture. This is the Curl Quench Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. This is for thick curly hair. So actually that whole Maui Moisture um, curl line is actually really good. I was using that line for, for quite some time, but you know, I just can't go without my Olaplex. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to take quite a bit, take about this much of product and this is when you start the scrunching process. So I'll go in and I'll start to scrunch this into my hair. And when you scrunch, you want to make sure, you know, you scrunch throughout your whole head. You get in the frizzy parts, you put the product in the frizzy parts, get the roots, and you're just gonna keep doing this process until you feel like you have a good, like, a good starting curl, if that makes any sense. And you can definitely add more product if you think your hair needs it. I hope that's a little better for you guys so you can actually see what I'm doing. And as you can see, I'm just, flipping my hair back and forth making sure that it's all nice and the product is all nice and distributed throughout my entire head I know if you have much more hair than me you're probably gonna need a lot more product than uh, what I used actually I think I used a pretty good amount but I know a lot of people need more or less just depending on how much hair how fine how thick you know it's all just how your hair is. I really hope you guys are able to see what it is that, you know, I'm doing and it doesn't look too crazy. Whew. Now this is honestly the only um, curling product that I'm going to use in my hair. Like I mentioned before in the intro that my hair is, um, not the curl, I don't have the curliest hair on the planet. So if I keep adding more product, it's just gonna weigh my hair down and I'm not gonna get like the curl effect that I want. So now that we got that curling product nice and scrunched into the hair, I'm going to start my 
drying process. So to dry my hair, I like to use a diffuser. Of course, everyone knows what a diffuser is and what a diffuser does. So the diffuser that I'm going to be using in this video is this baby right here. It's a Remington. Of course, it has the three different heats and the three different speeds with the cool button. Um, pretty standard, like all, you know, dryers. The uh, top is detachable. You can put like a regular top in there to blow, blow dry your hair. But you could pretty much use any diffuser on the face of the planet. Of course, the more um, expensive or high quality the blow dryer diffuser is, I guess, I guess the better the turnout is going to be. But this has been working pretty well for me, so it is what it is. So how I like to dry my hair, I like to dry it in low to medium heat and um, high speed. I feel like this setting works best for me because I'm able to get the um, curl that I want without having to stand here and dry my hair for hours. about 90% dry at this point and that was about and that was almost 12 minutes 11 minutes and 40 58 seconds of uh, me drying my hair um, just for the purposes of this video I'm gonna dry it all the way through for you guys just so you can see the end results normally I would just leave it like this and just go about my business but again for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna fully dry it for you and i'm sorry i wasn't even looking at the camera at all i was looking at myself but for the purposes of this video i'm just going i'm gonna fully dry it my roots are still still fairly wet my hair's pretty pretty damp but i'm gonna try to get it to you know 95 98 percent completely dry and then we will end this video minutes um again I got it to like 98 percent dry pretty much it took me 16 minutes and nine seconds to completely well to dry my hair to dry my curls pretty much all the way through 
like I said, 95, like 95, 98% is what I want. So the last and final thing that I'm going to put in my hair is the Olaplex oil. And I'm gonna put this in my hair just to help with the frizz and to really hold that curl in place. Just scrunch it in like I did with my other products. Just gently, you don't wanna do it too hard because you don't wanna mess with all that amazing work that you did. Now for tonight, you know, when um, you go to sleep, you wanna try to keep this curl and this volume looking good. You don't wanna, you know, make your hair extra frizzy or, you know, extra messy. Um, I would recommend using a cap, like a bonnet. Um, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I'm probably gonna do it today because I actually like the way my curls came out and I want to keep that shape and I don't want it to be super frizzy or um, crazy or lose any of that um, volume and curl. Or another thing that you can do is do like the pineapple, that's when you flip your hair over and do like that loose like bun literally on the top of your, on the top of your head and that'll help keep your curly hair from messing up. So that's everything for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.